I am Dwight Smith. I am representing Long Island University Brooklyn campus and my position is the assistant EPE coach at that university. Um, the biggest difference is that it's the slowest weapon, right? Um, and I would say that is the biggest difference right there. Like it is slow, but it's still like tactical chess. You know, the other sports are, you know, physical chess as well, but it's just at a faster speed. Um, the thing that we focus on the most is the mental aspect of f fencing. Uh, what's making it important is that, you know, a lot of times when people mess up in fencing, it's not, ta it's not their physical ability anymore. It's that mental aspect. So we try to make practices extremely difficult, you know, so because when they're making mistakes, when they're tired, that's what's going to happen in competition. So that's what we try and focus on. But we also focus on just like a community, making it fun, interactive, you know, really be hard on them, but making sure that they are, they're enjoying it while being tough on these athletes, you know, because student come first, athlete is second. The goal with athletes, that's different. That is trying to help them improve mentally and prepare them for the, the college meets and NCAAs and competitions outside of the college aspect, right? But now the other part, the end goal is to win an NCAA title. That's always the end goal and have individuals that win NCAAs. So you wanna make sure that we're recruiting, you know, making a program desirable for recruits so they wanna come. When we are recruiting, we are looking for athletes that are genuine, you know? Um, a lot of the student athletes coming in will tell you what you want to hear to get into the uh, respective university, but we want to actually interview them, hear what they're about, see what their parents are like, see, you know, once you figure out all of that interaction, we're like, okay, you're going to be a really... So what we're looking for in re recruits is that they're genuine. Um, when they're genuine, that brings a whole dynamic to the team that you're like, okay, these are the people that are leaders, that they're going to succeed pretty much outside of fencing, but you want them to obviously succeed in the sport itself, right? Because um, a lot of these students will tell you what you want to hear instead of um, what they are about, you know? So in doing so, we make sure that we're interviewing them, talking to their parents, friends and family, or like, hey, asking other student athletes do they know what these people are about or student athletes are about so that it takes a whole dynamic in bringing and recruiting athletes you know because any athlete you can recruit any athlete but are they going to be good for a program that is different a lot of times when you're watching when they're competing you're not watching them put in all the the grunt work going to the gym with their, their teammates, that, that footwork, doing the footwork, all the drills, all that, you know, I'm telling you, I'm making the practices really hard so they can succeed in these things, or, and lessons really difficult so they can succeed in competition. So when a competition, when they put all of the different components together that we've worked on, that is great, just watching them. Even if they lose, it's actually fine to see them, hey, you remember what we just worked on? That was successful. I'm like, okay, because not every athlete's gonna win. That's, but it's how they compose themselves when they lose, how they're composing themselves as a respective captain, how they're doing academically, because you're not only a coach, you are their mentor sometimes, you're a father figure, you're the uh, disciplinary figure, you know, you're their friend, you're their psychologist, you're their sports psych. So it's just what hat you're putting on. And internationally, I just like watching Americans win. So when they do well, I, it's not, I don't need recognition. I just want them to do well. I, I, I genuinely, you don't see me, I don't want to take the pictures. They were actually grabbing me to take the picture. I'm like, you won, go take, take the picture for US fencing. I don't need to be in it, you know? So, but I, I, I just want them to succeed. I, I, I want all, not even just in Epe, I, I like watching Americans win, you know? So that's just my, the end goal is obviously to medal and do well at the Olympics, but if they do well at their cadet 
the smaller tournaments as well as the senior tournaments, it's, that's, you know, meet them at the level they want to succeed at. Um, the general fencing audience and the novice is just that uh, fencing is, even for, you know, it's a like up and down battle the whole time, but you got to always enjoy it try and enjoy it you know like I know enjoy winning is enjoying it but it's also when you're in practice socialize don't always be so like hey I got to get all of these bouts in you know I want and uh, that's what a novice I would say enjoy it and always ask for feedback on how to improve at, because talking to these people is you network outside you know you find out what they're doing and a lot of these people like my best friend at NYU you know he we I want him to succeed, and next thing you know, he's coaching at NYU. Um, and having having a novice fencer network with people there, you is not only in fencing. You'll, you'll sometimes be sitting down with one of the coaches at a university, but somebody in your respective career field. And they, it's not what you know; it's who you know, and somebody always knows somebody that can help you out. Um, for the more experienced fencers, I would tell them to. Enjoy the moment, and sometimes that moment, when you it, it, when you're losing, it's lo it's a low point of your life. But ultimately, every like Peter Westbrook, one of my mentors, always uplifts me and say everything happens for a reason. You might not, you might be down now, but later, these are tools that you're going to help you later in your respective fencing career and life. So, just enjoy the moment. I watch that. I watch the high level fencers like Lee Kiefer. Enjoy the moment and at the Olympic Games and she said she was like so excited she was like she can't believe she won and you can see that was like authentic moment in fencing, you know?